hello guys how's it going um so in this video i'll be working with spark zip width index so the purpose of zip zip width index in spark is basically to uh, add index to your data frame so i'm just going to go through a quick uh, steps on how to get it done so without further ado let's get started um, so I've got this data frame here that I'm going to be reading and adding index to it. So what I'll do is um, I will go into the second project, which is this one, and uh, go into the source main and scholar. So this is the Spark job uh, package. So I will add a new class called uh, uh, zip with index so it's going to be object anyway not class so let me give it zip with index two, two. okay i'll give it as object then um, enter so here i'm going to define me um so me Ax, Ax is going to be data type is going to be arrays. Uh, array. The array is going to be a string, yeah. And then it's going to return nothing. So it cuts. So what I'll do first is create a a Spark session. A spark session equal to uh, spark uh, it's going to be spark session dots dots builder dots uh, master master is going to be uh, local I want to use all the calls so I'll put star uh, I mean asterisk then dot app name the app name is going to be um let me use com the uh, stephen dot spark job then uh, the last method is going to be get or create um so uh, the spark session is ready what i'll do is use that spark session to read a data frame so i'll call this data frame state df equal to spark session dot um, read dot i want to read the csv file so i'll say csv and the part is going to be so i've got the part here if i print the working directory so i will have this one so i'll just copy it and paste it here and then the last the file name is going to be state it's a state dot csv so um which is this one state dot csv so if i write state df dot show so I should be able to get the data frame. So um, now let me run the app. Okay, um, so I think we've got the data frame, which is this one. So this is the data frame. Um, the reason we are getting C O C one C two C three is because we haven't like i uh, so basically you can add option to include the header so but right now we don't have that option that's why um all the data are being read as like uh, every everything that file is being read as the data you no know? so but we need to separate this the division id city state and income so we need to use this one as header so that is the 
thing I'm going to do and another thing is I don't want this um, log to be included as well so I'm just and the first thing I will address is the log so if I go up here and uh, I will write uh, spark session dot um, spark context dot set log level I want uh, I only want the log if there is error uh, after the data frame so that will, that should get rid of the uh, log for me and the second one is I will add option here the option is going to be um, what is that uh, Option is going to be header and true, so that's the result. It's okay. Okay, now we don't get log after the data frame, so that one is resolved. And the second one is now we are getting the column, which is the division ID city state and income. So now we the main purpose is basically to add a zip with index. So I'm just going to define a new variable called zip index and uh, let's write uh, so uh, state df is our data frame dot um, zip width index um, but before you can use zip with index you need to convert the data frame to RDD first so if you convert it to RDD then you can use a zip with index so that one so now um, I can print out the zip with index but in order to uh, print it out, you have to uh, like use uh, for each. Uh, I mean, basically look through the uh, uh, array because uh, so this is this will be the first array. This will be the second, third, and so on. So you basically have to look through it. So I will say zip index. Um, right here okay zip index dot for each then um so for each i'll just use print line so that should be able to print it for me so i'll run it again and uh, okay so now as you can see um we are getting we are getting each row right we are getting each row so this is the first row that has london england 151 which you can see here in london england 151 and then um so this will be the index the first index the second index the third index onto the last index uh, which is this one so 55 is the last index so basically the total data is uh, 50 uh, I think 56 so um, so the next thing I want to do is basically convert this uh, this uh, RDD uh, to data frame and then uh, include the index here uh, as a new column so the way I would do that is basically map this um, a zip index and then um, basically convert it to a sequence so uh, what well, going to use expression so just use the semicolon so um, uh, I need to use dot map dot map and then uh, so I will just say case 
it's going to be case row. The row will be this row. Basically, this is your row, and uh, will be the index, which is this one. So, um, what I'll do now is basically use um, the Spark row. There is row uh, method in Spark. Uh, row dot then from sequence so let me import row from spark and from sequence and the sequence is going to be this row right this row which is basically this one as I said so um so that row then um, basically try to convert that row uh, as you can see right it's like um, array here like a list basically a convert it to a sequence so by using it to sequence you can accomplish that so um, and I want to uh, add uh, the index to that sequence right so I want to add it to that sequence so basically, uh, what I'm trying to achieve is this one. And let me see. Okay, let me let me put this one here. Let's say we have sequence, right? Sequence. What I want to achieve is uh, half uh, one. Not done. Uh, let's say string. String not done. And another. one so then we have a uh, ingot ingot then we have one five one one five one then what I want to do as you can see here this is our right I want to convert it to sequence so basically have one London ingot one five one so the next thing I want to do is I want to take this one out of here and add it to the sequence so that would be um, um, zero so that, that that is basically my end goal so and in order to do that I need to use this um, semicolon basically to add the collection uh, it's just like you are using a push in maybe in Python or or JavaScript if you work with JavaScript before. So so I want to push zero to to this one. So that will be um that will be L. So you want to add L and uh, so that should be it. Right? So if I print this zip index again, right? Um so if I print it again, you see we we get different results so let me run the application okay. so as you can see why right, we've got a different result right so uh now the this um the zero is now part of the array right so we've got one not done in plant one five one zero and same thing goes for uh, uh, all the um all the records so what i can do now is basically convert this one to a data frame but we got an extra column here so what i can do uh, is add a new column and to do that i will go here and say for um, let me see index uh, schema index schema equal to uh, the state df which is basically the original data frame states df dot the schema of that state df and dot add we want to add a new schema and i will use struct field struct field struct field and uh, the name of the column is going to be index and the um, data type I want to use mock type you can use integer type or string type but I want to use no type 
and the null label is going to be false because um, each index, I mean each record we have index, so null label can be true. So I'll put false here. Uh, so and that is the schema, right? Uh, what I'll do next is basically write a new data frame, which is new uh, states or states or uh, states uh, with okay. <laughs> name. So I use new uh, states df equal to equal to um, uh, spark session the create data frame yeah the create data frame and the data frame the rdd is going to be zip index zip index then the schema is going to be index uh, um let me use that index schema is not right let me use uh, data schema instead Okay, data schema. Alright, so now we can print out the new as we can display the new state df. Say there dot show force. Okay, so now we can have a new data frame right with index column. So let run it let me run it again. Okay, so we've got all our data frames, right? So as you can see, right? And from here, from this data frame without index to the one with index, now we have index for each of the records. So it's just printing the uh, top 20 rows, I mean the first 20 rows. So that is why we don't have all the rows so basically that is how you can use a zip with index to or, um, add index to your uh, data frame records so that is it for this video guys thank you for watching and don't forget to leave, uh, leave a comment hit the like button and the subscribe button i hope to see you in the next video and thank you for watching once again have a lovely day and goodbye.